So what is yeast? It's a fungus that lives on the outside of wheat, that lives on the outside of fruit, that lives on the outside of lentils. And what it does is it, um, it takes sugar and it converts it into carbon dioxide, which is where you get these lovely fluffy loaves from. And it turns it into maybe, <laughs> maybe much more interestingly into alcohol. Yeast cells are fungal cells, but those fungal cells have a lot of properties that look like human cells. Which, which allowed us to really think about the use of yeast in understanding medicine and understanding more about the, hum the human body. You can now take coronavirus that you think are going to cause people to become sick and you can introduce it into yeast and you can have yeast make that make that protein for you. When I talk about yeast, I'm talking about one, one very specific um, species of yeast. It's called Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Our earliest evidence of having technology with yeast and working with yeast comes from 10,000 BCE, uh, older than your grandparents. <laughs> Ideally, what you'd want to do is you'd want to develop a, a vaccine against this particular part of the, of the coronavirus. What you can do is you can take that bit of the, of the coronavirus, express that in yeast, and you can take that, purify out that protein and use that protein to, to develop vaccines. We really care about modeling diseases in humans. What's lovely about yeast is that whereas with humans or with mice, you can take like tissue samples and try to do things, or with mice, you may have four or five animals that you, that you can test things on. The beauty of working with yeast is that they take 90 minutes to divide. Um, they're really, really stable. You can, you can introduce DNA into the yeast, know exactly where, exactly where that DNA goes. You can have a billion of your, of your tiny little friends, or even, even 10 billion of your tiny little friends, all growing in a flask. And you can treat them so that you know exactly what each one of those cells are doing and then do interesting experiments and not be afraid of running out of material for your experiment. As much as I want yeast to be the solution to everything, I also know that, that, that yeast can't possibly be the solution for everything. But as, as our planet changes around us, as our environments change around us, as we change our dependency from gasoline to ethanol, we can, we can engineer yeast to provide these molecules for us in, in certain ways. Yeah, it can behave as a replicator. It can behave as this magical, magical thing that gives you these proteins and these molecules on hand. You can, you can look at it uh, as a telescope um, that isn't perfect. That you're, it's going to get, get things, a lot of things wrong. Um, but at least you'll be able to see something and, and come up with ideas to solve the bigger problems that are coming.